Okay. Good afternoon. Happy Easter to everybody. It's good to, to have us here once again. Welcome. Trust we are all staying safe. So um I'll continue from um, the previous discussion. I believe um for you to be here, you must have seen the previous discussion, which I tried to make a fuller explanation of trading the forex markets. I used an example of the US dollar against the Nigerian Naira. And then to buttress the points for other currency exchange rates. So if, if you haven't seen that, please um, go back and look at it so you will be on the same page. So uh, I just thought uh, it's very rude. I didn't even get to introduce myself properly right from the beginning of this channel. So you know, my name is Emmanuel Otabo. I, I am an estate surveyor and valuer. I deal in properties, real estate. That was what I studied in school. I just didn't double into it. Studied estate management in school. University of Nigeria, Super Lion. So well, so on on a, on a weekday, that is my that is what I do. I, I do real estate. Even some weekends, Saturday Sunday, I also conduct inspections, property, look at property for sale, rent, and um, valuation purposes as well. Okay, now this is me doing a little bit of um, advertise advertisement for for myself. The personal notes, but well, now you know. So, in case you you want to buy or sell property, just call. Let's, let's do business. So, but then weekends, most weekends that I don't go to the office, I don't work. This is what I do. I study the forest market. I study the price. The forest market is, is is usually on break for on Saturdays and Sundays. So, so that gives me that gives any forest trader a chance to to review. We are all students. We are always learning. So basically, I use Saturdays and Sundays to to look at my mistakes during the week and also to do a weekly outlook. What does that mean? What am I going to be trading in the coming week? That is basically what I do. That's what I do. So um, you can also, so this is an opportunity for us to learn as well. Today is um, Sunday. I'm almost losing count of, 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 week, of weekdays and weekends because of this coronavirus uh, sit at home. Okay, well, without wasting much of our time, let's um, let's go on. Let's go on to today's discussion. We talked about this last time, so now I'll quickly go on to how do you analyze the market? How do you carry out an analysis to determine when to place a buy, when to place a sell? It's simple. We have two basic types of analysis. The first one. Is the technical analysis, while the second is is the fundamental analysis. Two types of analysis. I would I would explain them, and then I'll give a practical example of what they mean. Now I'll start with the with the technical analysis. Hey, you see how I spelled technical? I just knock technical on the floor. Technical. Ah, coronavirus. Coronavirus ain't doing good to us. Technical analysis. So technical analysis, it's um, basically analyzing the market through charts, through candlesticks, through indicators. Now the charts, this is the charts, which I, I showed us the last time. Every currency pair has their own charts. So this is Euro USD because this is what I'll be using for today's explanation. So this is this is what the chart looks like for this. I showed us US dollar against Nigerian Naira. This is US dollar against Nigerian dollar charts. So for the case study today, I would be using the US dollar against the, the Euro against the US dollar. So basically, basically trading the technical analysis is looking at the charts, looking at Historical behavior of the currency on the chart. For example, let me let me use this this um, chart to make an example of um, a symptom. Example, right now we all know the pandemic that is uh, ravaging the whole world. Well, now, basically, when you want to see somebody out there running a temperature, he's coughing, he's beating all signs of flu, 
I believe the first thing that will come to your mind is coronavirus. So basically, that is how it happens in the forex market. When you are when you are looking at a chart, looking at behaviors, looking at symptoms of various charts, and then from there you'll be able to determine what next is the market going to do. That is it. Looking at previous, looking at behavior, how this has turned out in time past, historical behavior of charts. I'll give a clear example of one, one of the behavior, which is very visible. Any forest trader that is online now would have seen this already before I get, to, before I get there. So, so um, looking at charts, that is one way to, to analyze but as a technical analyst. Also candlesticks, what are candlesticks? We'll definitely, we're definitely going to get there we'll explain candlesticks individually. And that'll be part of my discussion on the, on um, basic terms, when I'll try to explain some basic terms. So this, these are candlesticks. Each of these, this red you're seeing, this green you're seeing, this green, we call them candlestick. The green, so, so I was explaining this, this, um, these are candlesticks. Each, this is a one, this is a, an, a four hour time frame. So this is what happens in the market every four hours. Each of this is a representation of what happens in the market every four hours. I can go to one hour to see what happens in the market every one hour. So each of this candlestick is what happens in the market every one hour. So this, this is a bullish candlestick. It goes up as a bullish candlestick. The next one is a bullish candlestick. The next one, bullish candlestick. The next one is a bearish candlestick. You can see it is red. So basically understanding the various pattern, the various behavior of this candlestick is another method of a technical analyst. For example, we'll get to all of this. I want to just draw an example right now. You see, this is what they call a, a, a bullish engulfing. Now this bullish candles, candle engulfs this two bearish candle. So it is a bullish engulfing candle, which means the market will go bullish. It's going to buy. Remember, a bullish market is a buying market. So it's going to buy. So basically, that's another form of, of technical analysis. Candlestick pattern, understanding candlestick, understanding what is happening, what these candlesticks tell you to do. Also, we have indicators. We have indicators. Indicators is a, is a tool in your Meta, Meta Trader 4. In one of our series, we're going to we all download our MetaTrader 4 very soon, which is the, the platform which you, you trade with. We'll download and then we'll, um, we'll use it. We'll, we'll use that to, 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 to trade, to run a demo account and, and trade. So, so what are indicators? Indicators are they are on your, you don't buy them. It comes with the, it comes on your MetaTrader 4. So these are indicators. They help you to, to know, they help, they further, they help to know the, Direction the market is, is is going. We have a lot of them. It depends on depends on which you would eventually settle with and which you would you would understand better to help you trade. There's a lot of them. A lot of indicators. A lot of indicators. I personally I use the one I use. I use RSI, Relative Stress Strength, Strength Index. All I use. Once you insert it, this is what it looks like. So basically, it, it tells you what will happen in the market. It tells you what will happen in the market. Like at this point, it's the market is it's um once it's above once the RSI is above seventy, it tells you the market is overbought. They don't buy and plenty. It will soon begin sell. That's what it means. And see what happens if you can see this point here. If you are just waited, this this was about this was this point. And then the market still went up a bit. And then at this point, it was very, very overbought. It started selling. So that is how some people use, they use this, they use indicators to, to trade. There's a lot of indicators. There's moving average. There's so many of them would, would, would get to that point where I would, um, 
or better explain it. And there are some people that don't, they don't use any of those, they don't use, they don't use indicators. They trade naked, like the days of Adam and Eve. They trade naked charts, naked chart like this. So what they do is just price action, behavior of the behavior of the price, that's what they trade. Price action, basically, what does the price do? For example, now you can see this bearish candlestick as soon as, as covered these two. So some traders that trade naked, that trade um, pattern, that trade chart behavior, candlesticks formation, they should probably be looking at selling selling this. So, but it's different analysis, different analysis. No two persons analysis might be the same. Everybody sees the markets differently. And then as long as it puts money on your, in your account, that's all, that's all about that. So uh, I'll quickly, I'll roll through the next um, type of analysis, fundamental analysis. Now, this is um, using events, using key events, news, happenings around the world to trade. Remember, remember, what we are trading is one currency against the other. It is a, a constant struggle between which currency will do better. And for this example, I have these guys representing the euro, while this guy is representing the US dollar. It's a constant struggle. Now, this constant struggle is what makes the price to fluctuate. Now, right now, the euro against the US dollar is, is going for 1.09348 current price so as a as a fundamental analyst the, the, this these are a group of people that use political events major conflict if, conflicts that are happening in, in developed nations because they, it's the occurrences that move that move much more so they use this these events or other economic activities such as the interest rate the gross domestic product inflation rates unemployment claims all of that they use that to, to determine what will happen to a particular currency. I'll give an example. I'll give an example. Also, they also use key monetary policies and then speeches by some bank heads around the world. Because now these speeches, this key monetary policy determines, you know, it tells in the forms us that are watching the news what is happening to an economy. And remember, the healthier an economy is, the healthier the currency is. So so if the if the prime minister of um, of Great Britain comes out and, and, and gives a speech that, that indicates that Great Britain is doing very, very well. Not just a speech backed up by facts, backed up by, by reports, which shows that Great Britain is doing very well. What does that mean? That means the Great Britain pounds will do better than every other pair that it is, that every other currency that it is paired with. So it will go up. So someone that trades fundamental analysis will buy, he will buy Great Britain pounds against the US dollar because it's going to go up. Remember, bullish is going up, up increasing value, increasing value. And then other happenings as well, fundamental analysts, they look at other happenings. For example, I told you when um, in my other class, when the Iranian um, general was killed, that affected a lot of them, um, affected oil in particular, affected oil. So, and then, okay, now, the coronavirus. Now, yeah, it's very good. Let me use an, a perfect example of the coronavirus pandemic, how people are cashing out using the, the coronavirus um, pandemic as, as a major fundamental analysis. Now, I'm going to show you a, a news that I saw um, this morning. It's morning. I was browsing and I saw them. I saw it this, this morning. So, I want to show, as a, as a fundamental analyst, now, how do we use this news that I saw this morning to trade the market once market opens. Remember, market opens today by 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 twelve by ten o'clock. But unfortunately, tomorrow is Easter, so a lot of banks are on holiday. A lot of there will be there will be very minimal activity. So it's not recommend. If you are a forester that already listening to this, I wouldn't recommend you trade tomorrow, Monday the thirteenth of April. There will be there will be there will be very very minimal movement. You can take a break, chill with your family, come back on Tuesday. The market is roaring. The market is, yeah, it's a continuous operation. A lot of opportunities, a lot of benefits you stand to gain. So just take out that time. Don't, don't lose what you've made in the previous week. So um, quickly, so I, I read in the news that um, as a fundamental analyst, I will show you two of those news. The first, uh, come on, please don't do this to me, Network. Yeah, great. 
So the U.S. economy, the U.S., the coronavirus has taken the toll. It's now about the, 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 the highest in the world, corona, U.S. coronavirus death toll. So there is a lot of strict measures now, more shutdowns. Economy is, is, is as good as shut down. No more manufacturing, no more exchanges. Everything is locked down. Now, how do I use this information? Against which other currency do I use this information? Now, I stumbled upon this news that a lot of countries in, um, in Europe, a lot of European countries, nations are now bouncing back. Now, look at this. this according, to, according to CNN, these countries are now reopening. And they were mostly countries in, in Europe. Even uh, I had Madrid, they started manufacturing. Now, Czech Republic, Remember, they, they, they spend them, um, they use them, um, the euro as well. Austria, Denmark, and uh, which other countries listed here? Majorly, majorly um, some, some nations that uses the, the euro, they are now coming back. Their manufacturing industry is now, is now, now see, look at this, check shops reopen, it's coming back. So. So how do how do you how do I use this how do I use this as a as a forex trader as a fundamental trader the euro the nation the euro is now coming back why the US dollar is shutting down the US economy is shutting down why some European nations are now coming back to operation what does that mean that means this side is winning the euro is doing better than the US dollar. And I tell you, in the coming week, today is um, 12, today is a Sunday, market is not open today. Tomorrow is a bank holiday. We won't see a lot of movements tomorrow. But I, I tell you, through next week, as from 14th of April, the euro against the US dollar is going to be a bullish market. The euro is going to be doing better than the US dollar. So price will go up this is where it is currently so price will go up that is my estimation between tuesday and friday price is going to go up and what would you have done if you as as a beginner as a beginner we're still on the basics so i'm sure you're not trading yet as a beginner you would have bought when market opens i expect it to come down a bit do small shakara and then buy and maybe you click the maybe you click the buy. It's expected that price will continue to go up, and as long as it continues to go up, you are in profit. It is that simple. With this news, that this this information I got, that remember this chart now is the euro against the US dollar, and and I predict. Let me speak like a, I prophesy a prophet, that the euro. Is going to do better than the US dollar. So, in other words, the Euro US dollar is going to be a bullish market by next week. Now, personally, this information I just shared with us, I'm going to use it with um because I, I I'm basically a, a technical analyst. I'm going to use it to as um, a benchmark to explain um, technical analysis. Technical analysis. Now there, there is a pattern called you you get there so don't don't panic you get there we will we'll get to all the explanation the pattern called head and shoulder pattern your head and your shoulder your head your right shoulder your left shoulder now that also happens in the market that is one pattern that people see and then they trade now in this case there is an inverted head and shoulder there's a head and shoulder if you can take me and tell me the other way so you can see this is this chart, Euro US, this is the head, and then this is the left shoulder, this is the right shoulder. So what does that mean? It means it's going to go up. That is what, as a technical analyst, that is what I will be seeing. If I hadn't even looked at the news, that's what I would be seeing. So this just is a confirmation. So now I have used fundamental analysis and, and the technical analysis. I have used the both of them together. So with that information, with that knowledge, I believe strongly that the euro is going to do better than the US dollar. So I should be buying, we should be seeing a bullish euro USD market by next week.
I believe you understand. If you don't, please ask questions. I'm willing to go over it as much as possible. But my the main purpose is for we're not in a rush. We're not in a hurry. The main purpose is for you to learn this skill, understand this, so you can you can you can do this yourself independently. I'm sure a lot, a lot of people out there hear people telling you to bring money. Let me trade forex for you. Why why do you have to do that? So you can learn this skill free here and and do it yourself. I'm here. I'll be a guide all through, all through as much as you need me. I'll be here. So uh, I'll be ending the series soon. Remember to subscribe. Click the the bell icon. So when I release the next video, you should get notified and um, continue learning this this skill. Now, initially, let me just quickly say something. I, I mentioned when I started off this series, why people lose money over confidence. I want to use that information now to, to address a point here. Now, I, I said the euro against the US dollar is going to go up. Now, a lot of people would have said, oh, this guy has said it's going to go up. I am very confident it's to go up. So they'll put all of their money in it. They'll throw all their money into euro USD. What if eventually the um, researchers in, in the US come up with a vaccine and then coronavirus ends under a day in the US? So that's an example. It can be eventuality. Nothing is casted in stone. So if an event happens that makes the, U the US dollar now strong against the euro, what happens? We're going to see a better U U US dollar. That way you'd have lost money. So instead of throwing out overconfidence, back to that point where people lose money, instead of throwing out your whole, example, I have a 100 US dollar in my account. Instead of throwing out the whole 100 dollar into this transaction, I would have just easily put in 10 US dollar into the transaction and see what that 10 dollars will fetch me. If I lose the 10 dollar, no problem. But if it goes on as planned, now it's just proper, proper risk management. I can easily make as much as from my 10 US dollar, I can make, I'm going to show you, my, I'm going to share my profits by Friday. I can make as much as 50 or 60 US dollar from this buy. And I can, if it goes south, I will lose just ten dollars. So, risk management. See you next time. Please hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Happy Easter once again. Cheers.